All right. It looks like we are live. How's it going, everybody? Just wanted to show you uh, the last painting I did. Uh, very cool, very awesome, fun painting here. I'm, in, I'm still in my studio. I'm working on some paintings, and I just wanted to get you guys started with uh, looking at some of, the, some of the work I've previously done. Here we go. Let's do a, let's do a new painting. How's it going? Good to see you guys here. Let's do a new painting. I'm going to work on a sunset painting. So let's put this one aside. Maybe we can put it right here. That way you guys can see that one right there. Well, it might be it might be too uh might be too much going on. Look at that. Look at all of that expression. All right. Let's go with the new one. And uh, this is going to be a sunset seascape, I believe. Let's see if it's a sunset. So here's how I, I get started with this type of paintings. It's really about it's really about not caring, but not caring not in the sense of I don't care uh, about painting. It, it's about not minding. I guess the real word would be not minding, not not caring. You do care, and because you care, you don't mind. Kind of like that that saying that says. If you love someone, let him go. Let that person go or let that go, whatever that is. It doesn't mean that you don't care about it. It means that you don't hold on to it. And this is precisely the, the way I approach artwork. If you love it, let it go. Okay? So this is the way I let it go. I don't think much about it. Thinking about it too much will make me feel like there's something unfinished happening, you know? Like I'm not good enough or something is... Uh... Yeah, like something is left undone. So if, if I paint... With full intention, without without really caring, again, there's that word, then perhaps I'm able to paint something original, something something real. You know, maybe I'm able to paint something real if I paint without that constant interruption of the mind. Only the mind knows how to do that. Oh man, put a little bit more pink here. Oh man. Put a little bit more there and on and on. And only the mind knows how to do that. Only the mind knows how to... Most people, most of you are probably trying to figure out how to be more clever when you paint. And there, there is the problem. This is a problem that you probably will never get away from as an artist. Trying to be clever. Trying to uh, learn a little something that will make your work a little bit more uh, catchy, a little bit more clever. You're probably not going to go away from that. Uh, or it's not going to go away. That's what I'm trying to say. That feeling. I believe that that feeling comes from not feeling sufficient, not feeling enough, not feeling, uh, what do they call it? Yeah, a feeling of insufficiency. Really, I believe that that's where it comes from. And as artists, we tend to do this. We tend to feel... And it's not, I, don't, I don't think it's just because we're artists. If you were a writer, it would be the same thing. If you were, I guess that's an artist. Also, uh, if you were a public speaker, a salesperson, whatever your 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 work is, right? I think it's the same thing. There's this almost unease feeling of, what if I'm not good enough? Or, or maybe you've been doing it for I don't know so many years, but it becomes second nature. But there's those moments where you you know that you have to go into the groove of it, otherwise you're gonna feel like you're not good enough. 
And this is exactly what I'm talking about. That feeling of maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm not, maybe I, I, uh, I need more practice. Well, how much fucking practice do you need if you've been doing it for so many years? You know, it's a, it's a, it's a good question to ask yourself. You know, how much practice do you really need? So at some point, I, I invite artists to, to acknowledge this, maybe to, to ponder on this a little bit. Really, do you really need more practice? Or is it that you're just not doing enough? You know, and, and, and really, I ask you, I invite you, better said, to ask yourself that question. Is it that I need more practice or is it that, or is it that I'm really just not productive enough? Which one is it? Do you really need more practice? I doubt most artists really need more practice. Besides, if you continue to paint, that's where the practice is, you know? You'll continue to learn stuff. You'll continue to do whatever. That's really where the practice is. I think for most artists, I would say, I would estimate 90% of artists, you don't need more practice. What you need to do is more painting. And in the painting, the practice will come. But many of us get trapped in this idea that we need more practice. I need more practice because really what you're trying to do is you're trying to muffle. You're trying to suppress, suppress, muffle. That feeling of, man, I'm not good enough. So how can you get better? M many of us, even that we are uh, artists uh, uh, by profession, our profession is being artists, right? That's where you get paid or that's where you eat or whatever. That's your profession. Uh, many of us even go uh, thinking that, that, it's all of these things, right? That you don't paint well or that people don't understand you. And I don't know, I've said it before many times, and I want to invite you to understand this. If, if you can just really let this sip sink in, it has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with your painting and this and that. It has to do with people ain't watching, man. That's all. People ain't watching. That's your whole problem. As an artist, your number one problem is that not enough people are watching. That's the only problem. And the moment that you that you start figuring out through work, through hustle, through friendships, through contact, through, I don't know, spending your way there, whatever you can do, that you need people to watch you, man. That's the only thing. You need people to watch you. You need people to see what you do. You know, people don't see what you do. I don't care if you're Da Vinci. You could be Da Vinci and, and, and they won't care. You know, Uh you could be you could be this great artist, and if, but if people aren't watching, they're not going to care. They're not going to care. No one will care. I mean, who will care? Let's say that you have the the, the cure for something, some the, the cure for some some very challenging disease or something. You know, you have the cure for that. It, it don't mean a thing if you can't if people can't know that that it exists. If you don't have a platform where you can be like, hey, look, I found this. You know. I got this. And most of us, most of us, I mean, that's a, that's an extreme example, but most of us go through our careers thinking that we're just not good enough or that we need more practice. And I'm like, fuck, man, how much practice do you really need? You know, how much practice do you really need? It's not really the practice. It's, it, it's, it's, it's the fact that you're not Kim Kardashian. That's really the problem. It's the fact that you're not Bob Ross. It's the fact that you are not, Thomas Kincaid, Damien Hurst, you're not George O'Keefe. That's really the problem. What I mean by this, naming the celebrities, is that they're known. And no, they did not create great work, and then they became known. It doesn't work like that. They became known as they were creating work. And in the work they created, they created lots of shitty work, according to their own personal expectations, and some good work, some good work, and very little great work. And 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 the reason I'm saying this is because that is that is the way it is. I mean, look at uh, any champion of anything. They take a lot of punches. A boxer they take a lot of punches before they can you know get to that place where they can start knocking, you know, doing the knockouts. Uh, 
a musician takes a lot of shitty gigs before they get into the Hollywood, I don't know, the, the their Emmy Award or whatever, whatever they give musicians. Actors, the same thing. They take the shittiest roles first or they or they're just not they're not there yet. And it's not because their talent is not good enough. A lot of people say, oh, it's because they weren't good enough yet. No, that's not true. It's because they hadn't been seen yet. They hadn't been seen enough. When you get to a point where people start actually seeing you, that's where 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 you're, you're going to start getting the rewards. People need to start seeing you. I've seen this over and over in my own career. I, I, I get lost. I've gotten lost thinking, oh, my God, people just, you know, they just don't like my work or or my work is to this and to that. And then other people will confirm that. Other people will say, oh, yeah, your work is just really not, you know, it's not it's not there yet. It's good. It's great. But, eh, you know, you got a couple of pieces of blah, blah, blah. And the, the, the People will tell you this, but it's the, the reality of it is that you're talking to very few people. You know, that's the reality. Uh, again, it has nothing to do with your work. The problem is that you're not you're not Damien Hirst, you're not King Kardashian, you're not you're not Oprah, you're not being seen. That's the problem. That you're not being seen. The moment that you start getting seen and people start watching you in, in, in a massive level, this is another problem that we find as artists. We think that if, I don't know, a handful of people see us, we're good for it. But it's not, it doesn't happen that way. You need thousands, millions, I don't know, hundreds of thousands. You need lots of people to see what you're doing. And when you get enough people seeing what you're doing, boom, baby, people are going to start talking. They're going to start sharing. They're going to start, you know, saying, oh, passing your artwork around and this and that. And before you know it, they're going to start flowing also, they're going to start flowing power to you. They're going to start flowing not just friendships. They're going to start flowing income and on and on and on. And this is how this game works. Any game, really. It's how it works. Uh, so I'll leave you guys with that. You guys got two cool things. Those of you who came here for the painting, you got to see a painting being created. Those of you who came here for the marketing, you got that too. Those of you who came here for my beautiful boys, you also got that. So, And the ones that came for all of the above, man, cha-ching, winning. You got all of it. All right. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon. Adios.